From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather tonight. Clear skies as we head through the rest of tonight. Temperatures dropping on down through the 50s toward the lower 50s by daybreak for most of us. Here's how the overnight lows break down in lower 50s across a large part of southern middle Tennessee, except once you get up here north of Highway 64 and east of I-65, places like Marshall County, Tennessee, upper 40s. And then outlying cooler valley locations that are sheltered across southern middle Tennessee elsewhere could also be into the upper 40s. It's mainly the lower 50s over northwest Alabama and maybe even the mid 50s back closer to northeast Mississippi. Everybody into the low to mid 80s for daytime highs with mostly sunny skies for much of Saturday becoming partly cloudy as we head into the afternoon. There's a few clouds from work into the area late in the day into Saturday night. will be milder Saturday night because of the clouds and a southwest wind. Only mid 50s for overnight lows. Mid 80s Sunday Ahead of our big cold front that comes in Sunday night, no rain chances with that. There may be a few showers in the Cumberland Plateau. Those will stay off to our north and east Sunday evening and Sunday night. So we will be dry in our local viewing area here of southern middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama. But northerly winds behind this front Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday mean much colder air coming in. What we have setting up is a big, deep trough of low pressure in the upper atmosphere that digs down through a large part of the eastern United States early next week. We'll have low pressure at the surface in southeast Canada and then high pressure at the surface in Kansas and Missouri. So that means a northerly surface wind here coming from eastern Canada and the Great Lakes down into the Tennessee Valley next week. So that's going to mean a cooler air mass coming in. As early as Monday, and especially Tuesday and Wednesday, we're talking about temperatures as much as 10 to 20 degrees below our normal averages for this time of year. We're talking about lower 60s for daytime highs, if not isolated upper 50s, Tuesday and Wednesday, and maybe some patchy light frost in mid-30s in places. Wednesday morning, if the winds can lay down calm enough by early Wednesday morning, Upper 30s as far south as northern Alabama. Certainly some cooler air coming in. Here's how the temperatures break down. We'll be into the low to mid 80s through the weekend for daytime highs. Notice the overnight lows temporarily coming back into the 50s ahead of the front. And then big time cooler air next week. No, this is not unheard of by any means. We're getting to the middle part of October, so we expect stronger cold fronts to come down. But... Struggling to hit the lower 70s on Monday, and many of us may stay in the upper 60s. Lower 60s Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe some isolated upper 50s in some of our Tennessee counties. And down into the 30s for overnight lows Wednesday morning and Thursday morning. You don't think it's going to be just 39 everywhere. That's a midpoint average between our southern Tennessee counties and our North Alabama counties. I think especially Wednesday morning, it's closer to the mid thirties over Southern middle Tennessee. And in those sheltered Valley spots where the winds can go light overnight, there may be some patchy frost for the first time this fall. We do start to moderate back toward the lower seventies as we end out next week. Mostly sunny skies here for a large part of Saturday, becoming partly cloudy into the afternoon. Daytime highs into the lower half of the 80s. Mid 80s, pretty widespread here for our Sunday ahead of the frontal boundary. Partly cloudy skies. And then the big cold front coming in for next week. Upper 60s, lower 70s for Monday. Lower 60s, if not isolated, upper 50s for daytime highs. Not overnight lows, daytime highs. Tuesday and Wednesday, low temperatures. Tuesday night into Wednesday morning mid to upper 30s across a large part of the area, and there could be some patchy light frost here and there. Same thing Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and then we start to moderate temperatures a bit as we end next week. There's Luke's latest seven-day forecast. Brian Wilson is here through the weekend with all your latest local weather.